Happy Monday, Sal Jersey. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We are beginning the week much, much different than how we left the week on Friday. We had a risk of severe weather all across South Jersey, ranging from a level one of five risk to a level three of five risk. And if we look at our storm reports, we had hail from the early afternoon on Friday. And then with the main line of storms, lots of wind reports, but they did stay to the west of our area. There is just one wind report that is down near Villas in terms of of severe weather. Looking at our temperatures this morning, well below average, about 10 degrees below so, and we have nowhere near our record high and low temperatures for the day today. But look at our sunrise and sunset, 6.02 a.m. We are getting close to our first pre-6 a.m. sunrise. That will come on Monday, and sunset not too far away from 8 p.m. either. That will be next week for us across the area. Looking at our morning satellite, we have high pressure that is in New England. That is keeping us dry, but we will see some filtered sunshine as we go on throughout the day today those are high clouds that are moving in otherwise we have a stationary front that is sitting to our south and this stationary front will be causing plenty of problems as we go throughout the week problems in terms of forecasting because what is going to happen is we have a warm front to our south and then we have rain to the north of it whenever that warm front is to our south rain and a couple of showers along with some sunshine it's not a washout but it won't be necessarily dry then as that moves north well then we get in to the warm sector here which warms up and we will have a couple of days this week that get well into the 70s into around 80 degrees conversely this front probably just sits just into the northern half of the state starts to slide south and that is a cold front and then we get a northeast wind that blows along with showers then we'll see some days that are only in the 60s if not even a little bit cooler so it's kind of an annoying setup here the front just kind of meanders around in terms of what we could forecast it's really tough to pinpoint exactly what what times are going to be wet and in fact what we're looking at here is the percentage of rain from Monday then we have Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday notice how we have greens pretty much all throughout this period however that doesn't mean any day is a washout in fact we can tell when some of the times will be drier than others driest times look to be today and then during the day on Wednesday wettest times actually look to be during the nights for tonight as well as Thursday night the other times more of a toss-up in terms of what's going to happen for this morning we know what's going to happen here a couple of areas of filtered sunshine otherwise temperatures rising quickly here into the 40s and then settling in the 50s by noon we go up a couple of degrees as we go into the afternoon. Not bad in the calm sunshine, even though we are about 10 degrees below average. Looking at our pollen count, yep, the trees and the weeds are very high here, low on the grass. And if you go to our website, pressofac.com slash weather, wrote a story about our pollen so far during the season. Just how come the tree pollen in South Jersey is so bad this spring here across the area? Going into tonight, temperatures fall during the evening. Then then as we start to get some clouds moving in and more of a southerly flow, temperatures actually rise overnight. A couple of showers here between 9 p.m. through 3 a.m., mainly north of the Atlantic City Expressway. We'll have a mild morning. And we'll have t-shirt weather for the day on Tuesday. Most of your day Tuesday is good. At least 80% of your day is dry, but there will be a couple of pop-up storms, mainly on the mainland as we go into the afternoon on Tuesday. Mainland seven-day forecast going to Wednesday. Again, cooler with that cold front that comes through. Temperatures in the 60s, a little bit below average. But then it rises as a warm front, 80 on Thursday, 75 on Friday. Neither day looks to be a washout. But as we go into the weekend, we are tracking some more of this stationary front coming through. We'll flip over to the shore seven day, and that's going to leave our weekend up in the air. It's a low confidence forecast, admittedly, and we'll tie that up as we go into the end of the week. There is potential that, yes, both Saturday and Saturday do end up dry here in South Jersey. We'll be back with you later today talking more about the pollen. We're talking about the weather for the rest of the week in terms of rain chances. We'll have all that for you. Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or the press of AC.com weather.